Hey everyone, Christian here from CK Wraps. All right, so today we're gonna do some interior pieces. Uh, these interior pieces are on a Camaro and uh, they've already been done. So we're redoing them because there's some lifting going on here, big air bubble in there. Uh, this air bubble is most likely caused because first of all, we're wrapping over uh, a plastic that's not normally meant to be wrapped over or sorry, not that it's not meant to be wrapped over, is that the, the, sur the surface, the energy level on the surface of this piece of plastic isn't very high. So it's still fairly smooth, it should have stuck, and I'm gonna show you how to make it stick, but uh, interior pieces can vary quite a lot. So we're gonna, kinda, we're gonna get into that, and uh, I'm gonna let you know what interior pieces can and cannot be wrapped. Uh, this can be wrapped, uh, I will show you what the bare product looks like. So that is one removed right there. This is the bare panel and it is pretty smooth. I'd say it's like 85% smooth. It does kind of have some texture to it, but not very much. So the film should stick. It's all about how we do this. So the reason why this didn't stick, like I said, is because they probably bridged the gap here. This was done by a very, very reputable wrap shop in, in Miami. And uh, we're gonna redo it and we're gonna redo it nicely so that it lasts. So, the film, this film is discontinued actually. It's a snakeskin by Hexus. It's discontinued, but it does have Hexus written on the back in paper. So it is right there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Uh, it's also right here on anglehexusgraphics.com. Not the best film to be working with to begin with, but we're gonna make it happen. So, we need to remove this piece. So first of all, I'm gonna tell you how this film feels. It feels like, it's very brittle, and it feels like cheap Chinese stuff. It also tends to rip very easily. It's coming off. It's coming off well right now. But it does rip very easily, even when the temperature is warm. Uh, heat, you're going to need heat to remove stuff like this for the most part. But yeah, that's the piece. Garbage. Let's get rid of this junk around the edges here. So this panel is the door panel. And it was completely removed by the previous wrap shop. So they did a, did a pretty good job of doing that, I think. Looks like there was some light sanding going on here. I'm not sure to make it smoother. So this piece is much more rough than the other one. Uh, hence why it might have lifted. So we're going to lay into this recess so that we don't have any strain so that it doesn't lift out of this recess. I'm sure they did their best. All right, so isopropyl alcohol and a clean rag. So just miss that and then see what we can wipe off. Now because this is a textured film, it won't show a lot of imperfections. There are quite a bit of imperfections in this. It didn't really show it. I'm also going to screw this piece over here. We're actually going to do this piece first because I've cut this piece out as far as the vinyl goes. So let's miss this up. Much smoother. All right, awesome. So, it's very dry. Let's see, I've never used this ever. Because, first of all, no one really asks for this kind of stuff. And second of all, it's discontinued. So let's get this in place. All right, it looks good. Let's get a squeegee going here. All right. So we can lay into this recess right here with no stretch. I haven't, 
added any heat to the film yet. So it's super easy. It is really thick. But this won't lift. It's impossible because I've just laid the film into this recess as opposed to bridging the gap. I hate to say it, but they should have known a little bit better um, when they were doing this. All right, we need a bit of heat, of course, because we have to finish off these edges here. There's a bit of wrinkling, but not much. All right. And then we have to take care of this up here. So what I'm doing is I'm just, I want to soften the film and, and just try to conform it around without going nuts and stretching it. Because I know that this area had issues over here too. Now Hexus is not a bad film, don't get me wrong, it's not, it's, I'm sure they pulled this line because it was having issues. It's definitely not meant for a full car wrap. Making sure everything's nice and relaxed and stuck down before I do any cutting. Again, doing pieces off the car are really difficult, a little more difficult uh, because they'll move around. So you can see I didn't really need to do any pulling or stretching on this film. I just let it rest. Now, I know we got full coverage, we'll be fine. So let's do some trimming. We don't have to worry about damaging this piece of plastic. It is already damaged. Um, so I wouldn't worry about cutting and being too gentle. Don't, just don't worry about being too gentle. We're not going to leave excessive amounts of film around the edges, just enough. In my opinion, there's just a bit too much left on the edges here. Um, but everything's relaxed. Barely any stretch. If any at all. I'm feeling the line because it's a little bit difficult to see uh, because of the texture so it's hard to see where the edge is a little bit all right so all that looks good I'm gonna leave a bit there I'm gonna come straight across again I'm using my finger as a guide on the top edge over here Super easy. I'd say most of the time went into just getting the door part off, door panel off, and getting this ready. So let's post seat this.
your post heat temperature should be around 180, 190. Um, that's if we're trying to kill the memory in the film. There isn't any stretch on this, like I said, so there isn't a lot of memory to kill. I'm just going over the edges, making sure everything is nice and snug. This guy's done. So, we can see this actually fits into the door card over there. And that's it, it goes back in. All right, so now we can see what that looks like. We're gonna be wrapping this in rose gold, I believe rose gold, and that, and a whole bunch of other things. All right, I gotta take it back out because I have more wrapping to do. And that is that. So we're going to be doing a uh, rose gold design over top of this. And that's what they want. And I'll do a whole, I'm not even going to do a video on that because it's just kind of cutting your own design out and putting it over top. Super easy, super straightforward. All right, everyone. Uh, anyways, that's how we do a couple of pieces. Uh, so you under, so what I taught you there was the post heat and laying into the recess on this type of plastic. And like I said, this is a bit more porous and interior pieces tend to be not quite as smooth as painted surfaces on the exterior of the vehicle. So it will be a little bit more difficult to have the film stick, but we can make it happen. And this will be good for probably forever. Anyways, thanks everyone. If you want to check out uh, more completed pictures and videos, check out our Instagram at CKRAPS. Thanks.